Hey guys, so this is the best box. So that was a $40 box, that was not like, I don't know, leave me a comment below. Do you think it was good, bad? I think it's okay. I mean, you get a lot of copies. Like, if you value $40 as a fat pack and you have still the randomness of a fat pack, then it's not bad, right? Because that's what happened, was I paid $40 cash, got a bunch of bulk, and this is what was in it. Now, if you spent $40 buying a fat pack, which is 10 packs of Amaket, I doubt you will have this many good cards. But at the same time, this is not $40 a card. This is what I got for $5. This is the best fat pack I've ever gotten at this flea market, this Spanish flea market. But they have the best diet, they have the best Coke. Mexican Coke is the best Coke. It's amazing. Coca-Cola, of course. Um, two Neto Sentinels, uh, four Natural Balance. I was not sure if this card was pricey. I still am not. Five Summer Blooms, 10 Summer Blooms, 12 Summer Blooms, pretty cool. One Harvester, and let me talk about this card. So this card was, all of this was in one fat pack, and then they came to this pile. These are $2 a piece. Bad River, Bad River is $2 a piece. Tar Pit is like a dollar. Mountain Valley is like a dollar. The non Blues are a dollar. The Grassland is like a dollar. And then Flooded Plain is like two dollars. So in total, just from this land alone, you have about $10. Let's say 16. And these are terrible fetch lands, but I mean, people are playing them, maybe it's $10, 16. And these are near mint, near mint. 16, 22. Wow, there's like six copies of each. Is that right? Yeah, there's six copies of each. 22, 28, plus 12, $40. You made $40 from just these in retail. And then you have the rest of this. So this is $40. Let's calculate what we made. But this is not like a typical box, right? This is a $5 box but I had to buy a lot of boxes to finally pull a box that was like this. But it's nice to know that you can make value from it. This is probably like a dollar. I think Summer Bloom, although it's been banned, is still a few dollars. Let's say like that's like $13. This might be like a few dollars. And that's what Sentinel I know is probably a few dollars. And then this one. So overall, I, if I had to estimate, I would say probably like $60 retail of cards that I got for $5. And that's what is really fun about the flea market is you're going to miss most times. But if you compare that to, let's say, buying a fat pack, you're going to miss almost every single time on a fat pack. Like, if you expect it to get over $40 retail of cards in a fat pack, it's not going to happen. Probably less than 5% of fat packs can get you there because it's not even you have to hit one card. You have to hit multiple cards, right? Like, you, in the current standard, we have Gideon Alive Zen card at like 15. We have uh, Liliana at like $30. But even if you hit the Lily, which is really nice in your Eldritch Moon fat pack, you still, still gotta hit something else, right? Like you can't just hit the Lily and that's it. You have to hit something else worth $5. And a lot of times when you hit like cards worth a dollar or two, it, it adds up, but you're not really gonna use the cards. Here, I can tell you these lands are extremely wanted in my EDH playgroups. I don't know what happened, but people started playing this land because as an additional fetch land, and now people are really into getting this land. So I can easily trade them away for two to one, one to two dollars a piece, especially the blue ones, because they just ask. I believe what's going on. If I had to guess why these lands have gone up in price from their previous like five cents or ten cents, is because people are using them as pseudo fetch lands, right? You can only have one fetch land of one type in your ED8 stack. This one adds another fetch land and it gives you a lot of options so you can go ahead and grab you know, with the Bad River, although it's blue and black, it's an island or a swamp, you can go ahead and you can grab that uh, breeding pool, you can grab that tropical island and that's very advantageous. So it adds that additional card element to it. It does come in play tapped, but maybe that's okay for your deck. So anyway, leave me a comment below. This is the only time that I actually made 
in considerable profit on any of these packs. So don't feel like too bad, uh, but for $5, that's the cost of like a booster pack pretty much. I got all of this stuff, which was great. But I lost money on pretty much everything else. Uh, I, I want to show you my um, entire collection. I'm going to buy some more furniture for my home, but when that's all done, I will show you the collection. I think you guys will love it because it is huge. And I have framed the different cards I like. And it's not just pricey cards. Sometimes the cards like this that I just found and it was like, oh cool, I remember when I found that. I do go to the flea market with my friends, uh, mainly Austin, uh, Jessica, uh, Taylor. And we go to the flea market and they enjoy it because the food is amazing at the Mexican flea market. It's just the bestest, right? Um, I just cannot, I try to go there once a week, but sometimes it rains and then there's dirt. So the parking lot is just dirt. And I don't know what's going on like in construction, but there seems to be like a lot of uh, homeless people like all the time. I don't know if they're homeless, but they're always there and there's nothing going on. And there's like pipes and stuff. And it's kind of like a strange. I would not be at that place after six o'clock. I get the food to go for dinner if I'm there for dinner, but I normally go there for lunch. I would love to be there when they're watching a soccer game, which happens. But like my friends and I are a little skeptical of like the area because it does get a little dangerous at night. And that particular area, like on the news, there's like shootings and stuff. But uh, the flea market is a lot of fun. Uh, when I go, when Austin goes, he's the only white person. When Jessica goes, she's the only white person. And she's also a female, obviously. Uh, and when I go, I'm like the only Asian person. So and then when Brandon goes, he's the only African American. So it's all Hispanics. And it's amazing. People are super nice. They are, uh, I, again, I commissioned artwork. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this is the same place that um, was a 13 year old was is now decorating my work office, commissioning it. Yeah. Anyway, that's it guys. This is a long video. Bye.